हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू चैप्टर 11 एनहांसमेंट इन फूड प्रोडक्शन पार्ट 4 टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाउ माइक्रोब्स आर यूज्ड इन प्रिपेयरिंग डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स सो डेयरी इंडस्ट्री मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स ऑब्टेंड फ्रॉम डेयरी आर बटर मिल्क पनीर चीज योगर्ट एटसेट्रा स्पीशीज ऑफ स्ट्रेप्टोमाइसिस पेनिसिलियम लैक्टोबैसिलस आर कॉमनली एम्प्लॉयड फॉर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स Domestic level preparation of fermented products started early in the period of human civilization. Let us see about Lactobacillus. These rod-shaped bacteria are Lactobacillus. Lactobacillus ferments the lactose sugar of milk and converts it into lactic acid. Then this lactic acid will coagulate the milk protein casein and partially digest it. the inoculum which is used to make products contain millions of lactic acid we call it as tac or chas which is having nothing but lot of these lactobacillus indian curd is prepared by using lactobacillus acidophilus whereas let us see how yogurt and buttermilk are different and especially how yogurt is different than curd yogurt is produced by curdling milk with the help of some other species of bacteria like streptococcus thermophilus and lactobacillus bulgaricus bulgaricus buttermilk is the acidulated liquid which is left after churning of butter from the curd in common word we use chas tak for it now let us talk about the most delicious which children do like that is cheese the milk is coagulated with lactic acid bacteria and the curd formed is filtered to separate the whey so basically we are first coagulating the milk we are making the curd we are separating the whey from it this whey this solid mass is then ripened with the growth of molds that is different types of fungi which develops different types of flavors in this cheese different varieties of cheese are known by the characteristic texture every cheese has a characteristic texture they have a flavor and the taste which is of course developed by different specific microorganisms which are grown on them the roquefort and the camembert cheese are ripened by blue green molds especially penicillium roqueforti and penicillium camemberti respectively this picture is of roquefort cheese and you can see the blue green mold which is present this is the blue green mold that is present and this mold is nothing but penicillium roqueforti whereas this picture of the cheese is camembert cheese which is prepared by growing the blue green mold which is called as penicillium camemberti the large holes in the swiss cheese you might have seen the tom and jerry uh, cartoons in your childhood that special type of cheese with big holes shown in that cartoon series is nothing but the swiss cheese they have large holes and actually it is developed due to production of large amount of carbon dioxide by a specialized bacterium propioni bacterium shermani look at this beautiful delicious cheese and look at the big holes that are produced this is the example of swiss cheese so this is swiss cheese and you can see this big holes that are produced because large amount of carbon dioxide escapes and the bacteria which grows on it causing this big holes are is nothing but propioni a propioni bacterium shermani so this is all about cheese next video students will discuss about how microbes are used in industrial use till that time thank you